You've taken some pictures, you've shot some video, now you want to step your game up. You've kind of looked at the tried, trusted, and true DSLRs, but what about those fancy new mirrorless cameras? Well, right off the bat, the biggest visual clue when identifying a mirrorless versus DSLR camera is the size difference. Something important to keep in mind if you care about portability. DSLR systems are a lot bigger because they use the same design for the most part as a traditional 35mm film camera that your parents might have used. There's a dedicated area inside the body where a mirror reflects the light to the viewfinder. This mirror then flips up when you press the shutter, exposing the image onto the sensor. This setup is considered robust by many because, well, it's worked for a long time, but it also adds to the overall weight and size. Comparatively, mirrorless systems are lighter, smaller, and in some ways more versatile. There's no need for a dedicated space inside the body because the system is inherently mirrorless. In this scenario, the light passes through the lens and right onto the sensor. Now you might be thinking, hey Luke, if there's no mirror, then how does the viewfinder work? On a mirrorless system, the viewfinder is electronic and displays the image directly from the sensor compared to a traditional optical viewfinder of a DSLR. There are benefits to this. For instance, more information can be displayed, such as visual tools to help exposure, focus, and more, which are especially helpful for those that like to shoot video. But although electronic viewfinders are improving rapidly, they're still not perfect and they're susceptible to things like lag or pixelation, which is why many still prefer seeing the real thing with the optical viewfinder of a DSLR rather than seeing a simulated image on the screen of a mirrorless camera. But outside the viewfinders, another important consideration is lenses. Different lenses provide many different types of functionality, almost to the point where they're like apps for your phone, kinda if you wanna look at it that way. For now, history is on the side with DSLRs. There are a plethora of lenses available to buy, but mirrorless systems offer incredibly small and light lenses, which are further cut downs on bulk. So now we know the physical differences, but who should be buying what? If you're into sports photography, then you should pay particular interest to mirrorless systems. Advancements in the field are making these systems excellent for continuous shooting as mirrorless systems don't have, well, a mirror that needs to constantly move up and down, making them operate more quickly. Mirrorless systems are also catching up to DSLRs with autofocus speed as they used to be fairly notorious for being slower. However, DSLRs offer more for your money on the lower end of the price spectrum as they usually offer a more feature complete camera, which is not necessarily the case for mirrorless systems. Mirrorless cameras tend to be more compact, but miss out on features such as a viewfinder, leaving you to rely on the screen on the back of the camera at the lower price bracket. But whatever you want to go with, camera tech is moving incredibly fast and more advanced features are trickling down into both lower price ranges and smaller camera bodies. So maybe it will soon again make sense to, for more people to carry around both a smartphone and a separate camera around, or they can just use like that yellow Batman utility belt in the meantime, I don't know. FreshBooks is on a mission to make freelancers less stressed and more organized through their easy to use tool for crafting and sending professional invoices in seconds. FreshBooks also helps you track your hours so when it comes time to create that invoice, you know exactly what you did, when you did it, and who you did it for. You can even accept deposits through their platform so your work is paid for on your schedule. They also have a tool to manage your expense reports. Their mobile app lets you take a picture of your receipt and pretty much just handles the rest. Getting started on FreshBooks is extremely simple, even if you're not a numbers person, actually, especially if you're not a numbers person. You can try FreshBooks for free for 30 days by going to freshbooks.com forward slash techquickie and entering techquickie in the how did you hear about us section. Let's experiment a little bit here. Instead of liking the video if you like it and disliking the video if you disliked it, like the video if you're still sticking with DSLRs. Dislike the video if you're more into mirrorless cameras. I might have to explain to Linus why the like to dislike on this video is super screwed, but do it anyways. I'm really interested in the results. Also, another thing to do, check out this video which is probably covering my face. It's a mini drone little kind of video thing on Channel Super Fun that's super, well, fun, and you should check it out. Get subscribed over there, get subscribed over here, and then have a wonderful freaking day, man. Yeah, just enjoy it.